So we begin by expanding and simplifying. To expand it simply means to make something big. And you only expand if there are brackets. You only expand if an expression has brackets. So like here, two inside me, you have a three plus y. With this one, there are brackets. So before you do anything, or anything you expand the first. Now expanding, you must know that the open bracket or the closed bracket, these brackets, they are simply stand for multiplication, which is time that. So the number outside is multiplied by all the terms inside the bracket. So if you want to expand, you simply write two, then times the three, this one. Again, write plus. Then 2 times the y. Then from there, you multiply there, you get 6. You multiply there, you get 2 y. So here, I have to, I, 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 I just expand it. Then from there, I come here and then I finish. Here, I cannot simplify because the terms are different, are not alike. So this is what you mean by saying expanding. Then you only simplify if you have another term whereby the two terms are like. Only then you can go further and simplify. So our examples they expand and to simplify where, where necessary. When you say where necessary, Means that if there will be a point where the terms will be like, so there you can simplify. So our first one will be 12 plus 3, then x minus y. Now, what we do, we multiply this part times everything inside there. What you do. Now in this case, we have this term and this term. So what you do, you get one of the terms in this bracket, right? Multiply it by this term state. Then you have a part of the answer. Secondly, get the remaining term. Multiply it by everything inside. How you do it? You first get the first one we use the two x. After write the two x First bracket, write this part x minus b, y. Then you close. From there, get the remaining part, which is 43. 43. First bracket, write the same x minus y in bracket. This is the first step. Then, now from there, this term. Multiply by the terms inside. This term multiply by everything inside. Now don't write two x times the x. You waste your time. Huh? Just do it in your mind. So you know that when you multiply, always consider the sign, right? Without considering this, you end up getting your own answers. So the first step you say a positive and a positive when you multiply you get a positive. Then 2x times x. 2x times x. So 2x times x. If you go back in my indices, they say when multiplying and the numbers have the same base at the power. This term has power 1, this one power 1. So what you do is write 2, here there is a 1, so to be 2 times 1, you get 2. Then x and x, write one of them, then add the powers. Remember here? Mm -hmm. Now to be 2x, then 1 plus 1, be 2. Therefore, 
when you multiply 2x times 1, the other times x, you will get 2x power 2. So this is what you do here. When you multiply 2x times 2, you will get 2x. Then these x's have power 1, power 1. So the result will be power 2. So this one and this one, you are done. Next, the same term multiplied by the term inside. Like I said, remember to look at the, the signs first. So we have a positive and a negative. These two, when multiplied, you get a negative. Then 2x times y, you get 2x y. So this is the result. When you expand this one. Next, come to the other side. Do the same. Positive and positive. They are positive. 3 and 8. You get 3x. From there, positive, negative, negative. And 3, y, you get 3, y. I will get a x. From there, check if you have like terms. Like terms is whereby you have the same symbol with the everything same. Look at here, we have x. Here, we have xy. So these two are not like that. We come here, we have x. So we have x, they are x. These two are like that. But the problem is here is power 2. Here, there is no power. Because of the powers, big different. These two are not like them. So they are different. This one is a word. So there is nothing in common here. The result you end with it. <coughs> so the next one, we have x minus y in brackets, and everything is raised to the power. We know what this power means. So what it means is that these are repeated. Before you do anything, you have to write them first in twice. By writing twice, I mean write x minus y in brackets. Again, put x minus y in brackets. So this is the first stage. Now, this is stage, the same as this one. What we have inside here are different. What we have inside here are same. These are same because they are coming from one thing. What we have in between here is same. Remember that 4 power 2 is the same as the 4 times the 4. So just imagine this number is the 4 to the power 2. So it will be now 4 times the 4. Then I will start. Everything here multiplied by everything in this bracket. So you expand by writing first x in open bracket. Then write this, these terms in brackets. From there, write negative y open bracket. Then this in bracket. What I have done here is this step here. Next, make sure that everything has a sign. The sign will get you. So now you have positive, positive, positive. Then x times x. Remember, this gives us x uh, 2. Then positive and negative, you have the negative. Then x and y, you have x and y. So here we are done. Coming this side, you have negative and a positive and a negative one. Then y times x, you get x, y. You can either write y, x or x, y, the meaning is the same. But it is important to write them in order. Then from there, 
you have a negative room, term is negative. What you get is positive. Then y times y, it is y power 2. Negative and negative. Most of the people they get this term wrong because they forget to engage these two sides. Once a time multiplier for each of z and the term, the negative comes there. Then they say, what am I y? Then they continue. Because of this mistake, everything becomes known. Now from there, we simplify if necessary. Here we have x power 2, xy, xy. At this xy and xy, this is our same. And this term is a negative. This term is a negative. Then these two terms have one number in the front. Therefore, you may just put ones to guide you. This y has nothing common with it. And it is a power, it has a power too. So these two terms are free. What you do with is this part in between. So write either positive room or just x power 2, then we said when the signs are same, as so now 1 plus 1, you will get 2. Then a negative and negative just maintain the same sign. Then you put x in y. Just pick one of these. At the end there we have positive y power 2. And from there, nothing is common. So what do you do? So we move on to the last uh, question. 2b minus y, everything is raised to the power 2. So like I said, it depends to expand. Then you check if you can simplify, you simplify. So the first step is to write 2b minus y in brackets, then repeat the same. Now you have two brackets. So these brackets, we call them double brackets. Right? Double. Then after that, we begin simplifying. We, simplify, we, we expand these terms in these brackets times the terms in the other brackets. So you first pick 2b, then you do it minus y. You close. The next thing, negative y. Find brackets. Then you 2b minus y. You close. Without this step, umana side. What we do next thing? Make sure that everything has a sign to guide you. Then you start. Never should do start with the term first. Start with the sign first. Eh? Positive times positive. You get positive. Then it's 2b times 2b. Here, 2 and 2, you get 4. Eh? Then it's b times b. This b has power 1. This b has power 1. So let's try to b and then add the powers. So this will be your result. Next, positive times negative. Negative. Then 2b times 1, y, will get 2b, y. If you have done this without the current zero, you are right. Next, we come to this part. Negative times the positive. Negative. Then y times 2b, 2b, y. Then negative times negative. Positive. Then y times y, y power 2. We are done in expanding. What we do next?
simplify. So check this term and this term are totally different. Eh? But these two terms are like. So what you do, maintain this one by writing 4b power 2. Then these two, since the, the, the signs are same, maintain the same sign, then add 2 plus 2 to get 4. Then b and y, b and y, this doesn't change. At the end, plus y power 2, and everything is now different. So it ends.